שלום לכם אחים ואחיות, אנחנו ממשיכים את סדרת המסרים שלנו. We are continuing our series of messages. Today we will turn to Daniel chapter 12, the last chapter of the prophet Daniel. Daniel received a lot of prophecies that span from the time when he received them and until the latter days and the return of the Messiah. Wonderful prophecies. Daniel and the revelation of John are two essential, essential books for the understanding of the prophecies and the order of events of the empires that will rise and fall. The last empire that will rise is elaborated in the revelation of John and the other prophets, uh, Jeremiah and Isaiah, add details to this big puzzle. But Daniel and the Revelation of John are two essential prophecy books for understanding the end, the latter days and actually understanding the entire history and the history of the people of Israel. Towards the end of the book of Daniel, towards the end in chapter 12, we read these following words in verse 4. But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book even to the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. Daniel received, as I mentioned, many prophecies, and he did not understand them. He did not understand everything that was said. And we find in the same chapter, in verse 8, these following words of Daniel, And I heard, but I understood not. Then I said, O my Lord, what shall be the issue of these things? Verse 9. And he said, Go thy way, Daniel, for the words are shut up and sealed till the time of the end. These things are not revealed. They won't be understood, only in the end. And the end, the believers that God chooses to open their eyes of their spirit, they will understand in the end. Now, in the verse that we started with, in verse 4, But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words. He did not understand them. Even if he asks, it does not help him. This is the situation. You received it. You documented it. You wrote it down. But this waits for the latter days, for the time that we live in. And then he gives them two more signs for the latter days. But though Daniel shut up the words, seal the book, even to the time of the end, it's another term for the latter days, the latter years, the, the end. When we're close to finishing everything, even to the time of the end. And what are these two signs that he's receiving? First, many shall run to and fro. Look, in the last hundred or more years, the transportation has developed a whole lot. All the motorized transport. We can go back maybe with the invention of the steam engine, the steam uh, ships, steam trains, cars that have developed and are still developing. But when we get to flight that has uh, developed in the last few decades and not only developed has become more and more popular more available for the weaker classes and even lower than the middle class people can afford themselves to fly in, in the summer to eastern europe or greece it has opened up the transportation for the masses today you can you can go from one end of the earth to the other end in I don't know what 15 16 hours of flight and of direct flight and you'll be from one place to the other and up until 150 years ago about many people lived in their own town their whole life that did even uh, get over the other side of the mountain most people were busy with uh, toiling and working the, on the ground and going back home and talking with their family. 
There was no such thing of, of just masses, the fly and millions and millions of flying that go from one place to another and go back like it happens today. Many shall run to and fro. Let us not talk about just uh, cars, millions of cars that go from place to place. Let's say for the weekend, let's go to the Kinneret. Let's go up to the Hermon or anything else. So something that was unbelievable, something that was a huge project in those days to fly, uh, do a journey on a ship from one place to another was a huge project or going from one country to another would, would take months. Something like that has become just routine. Many shall run to and fro. And the second sign that he gives him is that knowledge shall be increased. There will be a lot of knowledge. People will know just more things. A lot of information and a lot of knowledge. And the knowledge, the explosion of knowledge in the last hundred years, the science, and uh, even the last two hundred years, but the more we advance, the more we get close to our time, the explosion is of knowledge is increasing rapidly. Knowledge in all fields, uh, medicine, uh, technology, science, in all the possible fields, we know a lot more now. And we can invent things, microchips, nanotechnology, I don't know what, I'm not a scientist, but today things are being developed, uh, computers, the media, programs that know how to identify people's faces, programs that know how to, to know how all kinds of things just by looking at the facial expressions of people. They're developing programs that can read people's thoughts. They're going in this direction to read the thoughts of a person by their facial expressions. All this knowledge and also the weapons, the deadly weapons, the nuclear bomb, and even more than that, the hydrogen bomb, I don't know what. All these things are advancing us to this last chapter of the show of the latter days when the Antichrist will get onto the stage and do his part. All the infrastructure is being built. All the background of the stage is being built for this last show. And it's advancing at a very powerful and steady rate. And we shall also go back and talk and elaborate when we will talk about the Antichrist and the signs that regard his coming. So for now, for today, we put our emphasis on the explosion of knowledge and science and technology and uh, transportation. Many shall run to and fro and knowledge shall be increased. These are signs that were given to Daniel pretty much two and a half thousand years ago. He's prophesying this for our time and it joins all the other prophecies that we have already spoken about. The collapse of morality and the leaving of the truth and the abandoning of the, the gospel, the feeling of peace in general. People generally don't want wars, people want peace, don't want to think about it. And if we go even further back, then times of two world wars in the last century, the return of the people of Israel to its country, to its land, the resurrection of the Hebrew language, and the other things that we spoke about in the last 10 or so days. Everything comes together for one big and complex and pretty elaborated picture of the time that we live in. There's no doubt that we are living in this time of the latter days. So once again, we want to remember in Luke chapter 21, verse 28. But when these things begin to come pass, look up and lift up your heads, because your redemption draweth near. Yeshua is standing at the gate. What do I need to do with my life today? How do I spend my time? How do I prepare my children? How do I prepare for my 
meeting with the Lord. Lord, strengthen us and add faith to us and fill us with your Holy Spirit so that we will be ready for the day of your return that is coming nigh. I wish you all a blessed day. Shalom, shalom.